How about your tea? What's up, Amaz? How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Red Bull has a very good deal for you guys, apparently. What is that? Well... God damn it. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Okay. <laughs> so, under the stream, you can, uh, you can click to buy Skamaz shirts. It's real. They really will ship them to you. Occasionally, they might get lost. But for the most part, they'll get there. I want to mention that he didn't pay me to say that. You should pay me to say that. He paid me to say that. He did? You got Skamaz. Uh, Amaz should pay me something. Nope. Press 1 in chat if you think Amaz should pay me something. It's already probably full of 1s for another reason. <laughs> oh, Backspace is here with his Skamaz shirt! Well, oh my god! The I value! Wow, I'm getting Skamaz. Skamaz! Right? This is yeah, exciting, good. right? I did good. <laughs> I did good. <laughs> Look at all the you ones! Did good, man. Like, Look at all the shirt. ones! Look, they're, yeah. gonna, they're gonna buy your shirt now, yeah. see? Yeah, uh, reference said buy one to buy the shirt. This one to buy a shirt. Alright, can I, can I have a... Uh, oh, Jesus. This I want 20% of the shirt saying. revenue, because yeah, I, I shouted it out. Right. Well, you oh, right. it's fine? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay, I got, I got... There we go. We so, did it. So now you guys can support your favorite rec full. Tw 25. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. 20, All right. 25. Alright. After this, uh, right, right. <laughs> after this round, we'll go to the trivia round, right? After this round, we'll go to the trivia round. But first, you guys but first, first, we have to cast the Mac, the grand finals, opposing Orange on the right side against Admirable, Big Glasses and Big Beard Man so on we, the left. He tested the trivia round on us the next I one? I did. No, Amaz tested it on us. Yeah. And we actually knew all the answers. Every single one. You were. There, that's why you were impressed that I did so poorly at the Jeffrino, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you did really well. The like the the trivia area on the like the you guys will see, you'll see how good we can't be because we can't be there because we know all the answers. Anyway, on the left, do you think I'm also really give me the shirt revenue? I, I I really doubt it. I mean, dude, he's given me like a Jace card worth fifteen dollars. He will give you the revenue. I think he's a I think very. I'm gonna use Kamaz. We'll see. He agreed to twenty five. I said twenty five. You said all right. I, I, yeah, I, I think, don't think, I think they heard twenty. Yeah, but then I said 25. So I mean, right. Amaz says yes to so many things when he just wants you to shut up and do something. We have it on video. Yeah, you can always go back. I want to say that Amaz has never given me anything. Yeah. You know that time I got kicked off of commentating? I was supposed to get paid for commentating? He did give you a job here. Yeah, yeah, but he kicked me off and said he was still going to pay me for commentating. Never paid me. Never paid? I, Amaz has actually never given me one dollar in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> you might get 20% of the shirt revenue, though. Yeah, we'll see. The yeah. first dollar I get from Amaz. This, this is how you make friends, though. Like, right, Byron? Like, this is how you do it. Yeah, it's like you make a friend. It's all, it's all about friends, you know. Yeah. It's all about friends and shit. Oh, all, all the friends. Cheat, cheat like that. Oh my god. Ah, uh, well. Here we are. I like Raven Idol. I like Astral Communion. No I'm balls. doing it. Like he's got a Reno list, right? There's got to be some top. Yeah, but like, you can top deck like a BGH. I mean, he's not. It's not like a real, a real Astral, Astral Communion, communion list. deck. Tree of Life is the he, better one, then, because against aggro, if you survive long enough... Turn 9 is very far, though. But you know he has on turn 7, inch and a war, so... Fire Mace is pretty good. Um, yeah. It, it helps you not waste resources on this, and you set you up a good south You might get above that Bell Reaver. Yeah, like a 10-10 is better than an 8-8. 10-10 is big. I mean... Maybe you, not. you heard it here first. Yeah. Maybe that new old god. See, so you really want to south sea and kill that Lotha, but you want to kind of want to save the. Oh, we have to do it. Oh, you lose the buff. Do you? But you're supposed to. You know that this. I think. I mean, it's a BN. You know what I think it is? They're not used to the motions. All right, well, Rickful, I read a little bit of the Reddits, and some people who are listening to this cast think the Hearthstone is... Um, advise you to uh, not be so demeaning towards the, like, the state of the game. I think you're harming Ooh. the community. And... Uh, oh! Yeah. Oops. Thank you. I'm back. Harrison Jones. Wow. What do you think about that? Pulp Chunk. Is that a good card? It's a 5-4 for 5. Is that a good card? 
Um, it's like a booty bay bodyguard that doesn't taunt. A booty bay. <laughs> bay bodyguard. With no taunt. The tri Bolt ping. Lens the sun well. We're gonna be rich. Can you hear? Yeah, I don't think they need us. It's like the audio doesn't simple. pass through this, does it? Wait, I'm not sure. I think the audio does pass through that. Maybe it does. Oh yeah, we're live. We're dead. Wait. Well, we're back. Well, they, some people heard booty, 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 big, but like every... there's a red connection. But it's always like this. Wait. So they they heard us say booty bay. Booty, booty bay. Yeah. Chat. Did you hear booty, booty, booty? They heard booty, booty bay. Fucking never way off. Uh. So the audio is now messed up again. I think we're robots. Everybody relax. Booty, booty bay. So I missed the game. Ooh. Well played! Woo! And that, you can't actually rock by the circuit, he's overloaded for three, so you can only play the Doom Hammer. But oh, that's fine. Oh, well, actually, you can, because the overload's going out. Oh, the overload's away. Okay. Yeah, the overload's out. I thought it was fresh overload. So, how much damage is that? That's uh, 10, 15, 15. 16 is one out? Yeah. That's not fair. Yeah, it's 10 with the Doom Hammer, it's 5 on board. I think you still ten. have to try, right? Because you, you. Oh, man, well, he's going to get shut <laughs> down. He's going to get really. Punished. Ancient of War, but maybe he has. I wonder. Oh no, he can't Ancient he of War can't and Hero of Power. War and Hero Power man. Oh, he can't Ancient of War and Hero Power. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Can he kill him? Uh, 12, 15, 12. 17. And he can drop Savage Combatant and Hero and Power, Power 20. 20. One off so also. One off, lethal on both, one sides. off both sides. What? Okay. I mean, it's getting interesting. You gotta do it, Admirable. You smart, gotta do smart it. Smart time? Yeah. Well, it's Doom Hammer and Rock Fighter. I rarely see a, a time where that's not. There's a tiny a chance time. that he trades the Shattered Sun into the 4 3 because he thinks he'll have lethal next turn anyway. But then he's dead. Swipe Rose is not there. Swipe is gone. Drew the Claw is gone. You must feel like you can do this. And he, he did trade it. I thought he would. For the trade play. Oh my goodness. That allows. That allows Ancient of War to be played, which wouldn't have been possible at one health. Against, well. Against Pink. Uh, we, I think Crackle is gone. We saw Lava Burst go off the top with Fell Reaver. We have one uh, of each. Yeah. Burn. Oh, heals would be pretty interesting, too. So um, he's going to decide between heal and taunt. Yeah. Depending on what he saw get milled. I don't know if he paid attention. I know I didn't. Did you? Wait, he's going to decide on heal and taunt depending on what he saw get milled? Shaman didn't mill anything. Well, yeah, he had Fell Reaver initially. Oh, the Shaman milled stuff? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, forever ago, yeah. yeah, yeah Before yeah. he emptied that. Yes. That was a long time ago, man. That's a, it feels like forever ago. We were talking about oh, oh, it's perfectly it's legal. Four, four, one. And the taunt would have done it. Yeah, yeah that'll teach you orange. You can play around the three mana four two. The taunt actually always feels safer because they only have one earth shock. What else can they get through with? They don't run hags or anything. Maybe in this format they would. Yeah, but I think Admiral has a more mid range. Oh, but he had one card in his hand and it could have been crackle, but it wasn't. No, he would know that he would have killed him. Last track. Yeah. yeah. But he knew it wasn't a burn spell. Oh man, orange looks so tilted. No, it actually could have been lava burst. It was milled earlier. That's the lava only thing I milled. saw was milled. Okay, that's so the only thing I paid attention to. So it was a slight misstep to not taunt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Amaz is happy. I don't know what about, but he's happy. Amaz is always happy. Um. So it looks like uh. Amazing everyone all around him. The the Fugan Stalag shamans coming I out. I like this. You like the deck? It's fun. Yeah. Well, sometimes it does absolutely nothing. Sometimes. Which is the problem? Crazy stuff happens. Zombie Shadow is a good start. Yep. But the other cards are not. Well, they're, they're, they're going to be good eventually. Hmm. Crackle was milled as well, so apparently uh, he had pretty much nothing besides Urshock and Hex. Taunting was a lot better. Well, even against Hex, you don't. With the Hex, you don't, you don't die because they have to hit the frog with the Beam Hammer. And then yeah, and then face. they hit your fist for two. You're not. The taunt's better. Yeah. You taunt. And then you you heal after because if you heal first, you take the damage that turn, and then you it, taunt, and then they could drop. Then they could draw the burn that turn. Yeah. So it's the same spot you end up in two turns like later. Right? Although in that situation, two turns later, he would be killing the shaman. So. Okay. Yugen and Stalag, already there.
So we'll see whether or not Orange knows how these two interact with each other, because earlier we saw Shock kind of just kill Thaddeus, because he thought that the Stalag and Fugan wouldn't spawn more Thaddeus. Or Thaddei, I guess. I don't know how you Oh, he thought it could only spawn one time. Yeah, because he was like, oh, he's already, you know, lost it, yeah, and the trigger went him. off, it won't go off again. Well, that's not the way. He went down and does a good job here. Yeah, pretty good card. It was still weird to BGH to Thaddeus. Yeah. Because it was good out of the Doomsayer, you can see if it dies first, and then you BGH. I must safeguard yeah. the land. That's good. So uh, we'll see if Orange is going to solve the out. first of the two. Or the second. Oh, can we see a, a replay? Yeah, he's going with Fugan first because the uh, threat of swipe and BGH on uh, Stella. I have dreams of this happening again. Might happen. That's a pretty good Savage Combatant, uh, but Emperor is too tempting. It's really just too tempting. You literally will never get a better Emperor in a deck like this with only one Wild Growth, one Innervate, one everything. Hey, he could recycle the Stalag. I love that. Pog Champ. Yeah, recycle Thaddeus. Replay that for 10 for fun. Oh, man. You... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you ever recycle. It's crazy that Recycle exists and Entomb exists. In the same world? And they're both six man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't like, get it! You know, it's like Mulch and, uh, and Hex, right? Like, there's there's a huge difference between Mulch... Yeah, but no, at least it, Hex has the downside that it makes a frog. Frog, yeah, that, that has dawn, but... I don't know. It's... Like, Recycle? Put it in their deck, instead of put it in my deck. Well, maybe sometimes it's better, because you're putting a card you don't want to draw. You have a game plan? Like, let's say I play, like, um... Come on. Let's assume I play... The Velen card you're recycling is always really good, though. Dude, I'm playing Velen Combo, right? With Mind Blast oh, okay. and Holy Smite. I don't want to draw your janky good 6-drop. Yeah. I don't care about it. So you're playing... You, you, if you could make a Priest deck... I would recycle your guy. If you could make a Priest deck and you put Recycle instead of Entomb? I would play 4, and I would play all of them. But I would put Recycle in. Yeah. Alright. Sound reasoning? You don't have to agree, or, like, it doesn't happen. Sure. So, okay, um, so. The, the, we didn't see anything happen, because the Thala was sent back. I like uh, Azure Drake here, and... Uh, you probably bump bump. One of the interesting oh. things, too, is that uh, Bloodlust lets you... Like, he, Bloodlust Reincarnate is a lot of damage. Why did he draw first? He could have gotten... Well, he can't get Lightning Ball because it's another deck, huh? Still, let me draw first. Angry? Like, literally? Would uh, you reincarnate Garden Commander? I would consider it. You get the Vine Shield back, you get... Nah. Or do you wait for Sylvanas? Sylvanas reincarnate is just so crazy. Uh, like, let's say let's say right here he drops Pallet Sky Golem, and you draw Sylvanas, and you use Sylvanas, and you steal the Sky Golem. For two mana, you might close that. Probably. You win the game for sure. Post. Not both us, man. But we. Two. Uh, it is. And nothing stellar, but it, it is. Best in the world. Okay. Yes. Let's see what Shaman draws. Oh, that's only does nine damage here. Okay. Source of Apprentices. I mean, this is the type of card that might win the game since there's no swipe in hand because all you need to do is flood with a bunch of bloodlust it's and possibly he might not trade. He might actually bloodlust. Yeah, I think that's uh, the only issue is you, how do you or seal you the can, game? Or, I, I kind of like Valheater, Harvest trade. Golem, Totem, and just trade Drakes. Yeah, I would trade the Drake if I were to do anything yeah. because the Valheater needs to spawn one ones. Get bloodlust going. I think. Hmm. Actually, not half as bad because it, it really fills the part of bust. You can also keep your permanent oh, stats on the top. Wow, that, that's a big Drake. It's actually a not incredible. Lust is I, I, I like the other play way better. Yeah, like the thing You're is. You're really like, flooding the board and you have less. It's a good way to finish the game. So it's like pretty. It's just like a cuter play. I think sometimes people feel like they want to get fancy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? You know, you're like, oh, look, I can do this cool thing where I reverse uh, switch and my minion doesn't die. But he would have 
Blood of the board, still have Bloodless in hand, have a win condition. Because yeah, right now, how is he going to do that 15 damage? He has 3 damage on the board. It's going to involve Sylvanas and Reincarnate in my mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something along those lines. No, no, now he has to really win the board. Yeah, he's got to fight for it. And like, Refreshment Vendor is kind of ridiculous. I think, wait, right now? Yeah. He might have just been able to kill him with Lust. Yeah. This turn, if he uh, did it the other way. Yeah, I'll kill him though. So, um, we'll see whether or not the Shaman's able to take this. It looks like the board is filled up enough that Lust would have been able to do it. But... Without the like the the hand size, I can't really see a world in which you take over this from Druid. You have some audio problems. One second. Just keep going. Yeah. Just keep going. Okay. So we don't have audio problems. Okay. Something like that. Um. So from the Druid POV, to do. Okay. looks like he's gonna low Feb. What's he doing after? I see. Probably Reno to be safe. Okay. But it's just because it's board safest presence, play. That's right? the safest play possible. Yeah. Like there, you know, there's no lust, but at the same time, it is a four-six, so it trades super well against most things your opponent does. Mm. Yeah, that does not, uh, not ever good. feel good. Okay. So you have to trade three five into five three. Do you kill the Yeti? Uh. I mean, healing totem could come out. It'd be good too. Life is going to be brutal if it does. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Lucky. Step one. Well, I, I mean, it's, it's, I was going to say, it's still a brutal power. card, but... You swipe the Death Lord, you yeah. kill it with Reno, you get a card, and you get the hero power. Oh, he didn't even drop the Death Lord. Yeah. Right. So, I, f I feel like Force Roar was lethal, man. Like, uh, I'm not an expert in mathematics, but I feel like Force Roar last turn was a pretty lethal play. Admirable Leaves. That's it. Escape Conceit. Little smirk. It's not really a, a happy smirk. Man, these two guys are taking this seriously, man. Alright, sorry. By the way, we were distracted because we were fixing audio stuff. Are we fixing audio? Oh, Backspace is yelling. Backspace wants everybody in the living room. We don't know why. Wait, us too? No, not us. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Th that was it. No, I remember one. I lost. So Orange has a one. Like, it's 1-1. One, one. No, it's, it's not it yet. It's 1-1. One, one. Why are you telling us everyone to get in the living room? I, so it's for the know. other guys. Oh. Because it's the last match, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It is the last match. Yeah. It's the champ. final, final match. Okay, we were super distracted. I but wasn't, we're back. I, I knew what God was damn up. It, you guys. He was distracted. Someone's going to get fired. I was focused. No, dude. Nobody fires me up. Oh, my God. So than... I have to pay attention, too. Yeah. Just buy some mod shirts. I'll be happy. Because you get 20%. Now that I get 25%. Yeah, but now you don't care about peddling the wares. He's actually not going to. What's the chance? Of what? You getting the money? It's like, it's, I'm, I'm trying to sell a Skamaz shirt and I'm expecting him to give me a portion of it? It's, uh, you have 20% chance of getting it. Okay. 20% chance of getting 20%. I like that. It's like a good 4%, man. You're good to go. You just keep flipping those coins eventually. 1% EV. It. <laughs> Not half as bad as uh, the casino. Hmm. So. Alright, so here we go. Yep. I like the shopping deck. It's fun to watch. Yeah, it's like old school mid range. So except with a bunch of random coin fugin. One of it's nice that that's not Stalag. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that nice? Yeah, Stalag would die too easily. But it deals a lot of damage. Yeah, but he would just die. He doesn't like dying. Execute. That needs to come out before Thaddeus. Or you just get you know five Thaddeus. You might just belch it. Yep. Yeah. It's too good not to belch. And probably Azardrake here. I like it. I uh, like it. And what about the attacks? Do you attack the belt I mean, or do you just chill? And what, like, could, could you ever just totem hex to keep the board? Is, or even like, like Earthshock gonna... trade? Like, that's possibly even better. I mean, your Earthshock just did one damage and killed an ooze. It's three damage. It's a bolt, right? It was lightning bolt without the overload. One damage and killed an ooze, yeah. The ooze. Yeah. I mean, and it delayed. It made you not play Azure Drake. I don't like it. Because the thing is, Drake was better with Earthshock, hence why I think the Hex was justifiable. But the good thing here is that the three five might end up taking damage. Fire Elemental comes out, and then you curve into a uh, Drake two two mana leftover turn. Would have been nice to just play Drake, I think. I mean, Thunderbolt Valiant on seven is gonna be sick. See, this is perfect. This is a good this fire is... early, and the five five two two one clears it up. Yep. And to glory. His hand. Look at all those minions. Yeah. And they're all high quality too. Yeah. What are you gonna do? He's gonna bash the 4-3. Will he? And then shield slam? He might 
Doomsay. Doomsay. No boss. You could do it preemptively. Doomsay right now, right now, right now. Yeah, I think preemptive Doomsay are here makes They're really sense. good, yeah. Okay. So now... You could... Oh, he's gonna do the mana tide. Oh, man. Do you hex this, then? You mana tide hex, you're in such a good spot, because you have a billion totals. He's not gonna hex. Plus Thunderblood Valiant. Okay, so... He's looking for... Uh, Reincarnate. Yeah, definitely. That'd be nice. Most deaf. Okay, so next turn... We can't really play two minions. You could play Geddon if you're happy. I'm talking about the Shaman. Oh, sure. Oh my god, reincarnate! Oh, you just you just cycle. You, you know what? You go for Alakir. You so go for Alakir. reincarnate twice. there was game. Yeah. Well, well, he had Brawl, but I mean, it was really good. No, no, man. It was GG. It was pretty much GG, right? Yeah. He had Brawl eventually, though, if the Shaman like, pushed too much. Longer. You could technically just play Alakir, go face, and hope you pick up reincarnate off the top. Oh! Oh. If Sylvanas comes down, that, Dude, that, that definitely is really looks like a second bra. Yeah. Oh man. Back to work. Cool taskmaster execute. Well, that teacher doesn't do much. It's always How nice. does Sylvanas actually interact with Deathwing? Does it steal it? Yeah. It does steal it? She steals it. It feels bad, man. I used to think like the rule of Battlecry's trigger before was actually real. And then it's, it's a real. lot more complicated. And it's so complicated. Remember a it's long not even time ago, bothering. a lot of time ago, people were really confused on uh, SI agent when you killed a oh scientist and it gave me they, yeah. they would get the SI agent. Yeah, that was a weird one. And there are fringe cases a while back when the priority would make it so you wouldn't get it, depending on who was the first player and the second. And then they fixed it. To, I, it was just a nightmare. Uh, but you know, they're a small indie dev company, so. Come on. All right, that's a really good Baron get it. Yep. And. Again, uh, we want reincarnate, but it's not amazing now. I mean, I'd I'd take that guy given the choice. Cause you keep Sylvanas, so like what else can he play into this? No, that's not fun. That's what? Wait, what? No. Why would you play Sylvanas? No, dude, do don't do this. What is that? Admiral bro. That was actually really bad. Was it? Yeah. It was the worst. That was that was really bad. Why would you play Sylvanas right there? I don't get it. I mean, it. you're preventing Death Wings. Well, I really don't like that. Oh my god, it's Coral. Especially, you're playing a Reincarnate deck. Yeah. I mean, he's hoping for Stalag. You keep thinking in terms I mean, of pure value. You're not thinking been... in Thaddeus terms. Oh man, I don't like that. Okay. So, your play would have been something else. Anything else. <laughs> uh... I think you just randomly drop any anything. anything. <laughs> I think I, I, I go actually, no, the really. Freshman vendor to like Thunder Bluff Valley is like that's a good turn. I, mean, I, I, I think you're right. Sylvanas right. is just like he Bad. doesn't have a hex in his hand either. So, so if Sylvanas reincarnate is just like oh I can't deal with this huge minion. I win. And you're against a you know control warrior, so yeah, yeah. Oh. they have huge minions. Now this is sick. Ancestral Spirit on Alakir is some of the most disgusting stuff you can do. Like how does the warrior deal with this? He kills it and then has to re-kill it. It kind of never stops. Yeah. Well, you can always start with a brawl. Hope it works. But I think you have to set up a two-turn Gorhal kill into a Deathwing or brawl. Fine. Yeah, this is fine. So now he needs reincarnate to get two Alakirs. <laughs> you might as well brawl first before Deathwing. Yeah, I mean, he probably will brawl next turn. Yeah. So the reincarnate is sick here, but not quite it. Hmm. So is he gonna swat the insects? Oh. Wait, that is good on Alakir. It's like uh, a lot of damage. You're pushing for ten. Just ten. I kind of yeah. like it, but nah, not right now. We gotta build the board, and we gotta draw bloodlust and kill someone. He's but it's gonna take a while because there's brawl and death. Yeah. So. It's gonna be a, a long game. He's making trades. I mean, it's pretty good considering the fact that the the war just has no no way to deal with this by one without bringing it back to life again. Freshman vendor, he on the warrior zero. That's great. Yeah. Chicken. Warriors don't like chicken. See. And uh, not the greatest at top decks there for orange. Okay. And then Deathwing comes down. No, it's gonna be some luck. You, got, you just gotta extract you value. Never, you're never gonna death one before you play as well. Yeah. 
I mean, it's kind of a tricky spot because Shaman is notoriously good with the hero power against warriors. So eventually you get starved out of answers and you die to just totems. Yeah. The warrior... But the warrior... At the same time... Um... Kind of wants to just death wing and win, and and then draw the big threats. Not because if you if he draws some big threats right now that he aren't playable because he's under pressure, right? Then he might be forced to play the death wing and discard him. Like lose every like Justicar hasn't been found, right? So he, if might, he, he plays might, death wing with Justicar in hand, it feels even worse. Right, yeah, something like that. Because you end up losing like the advantage. I don't actually. We don't actually know what cards he has in his deck. I think he's playing wonder, the Elise uh, version with Justicar. Okay. So. That's what we saw earlier. And, and there's a threat of uh, Bloodlust at any moment, too, because he knows, he knows Bloodlust is in the deck. Yeah, that's a good brawl, though, right? Uh, actually, would you, I, I would consider death winging. It like, depends on what I top deck, but I might death wing. Because I've seen the Hex, I've seen pretty much everything besides maybe BGH. I think, I think I'd brawl first. Depend, let's see what we get. Yeah. Especially if you get like a five. Man, like a he's three. low on cards, though. A lot of threats. Oh, Fierce Monkey. Good. Good. good stuff. Okay, so brawl, Fierce Monkey, melee, whatever is there. Unless it's a totem. I would still kill whatever. Just because. Yeah. Flame Tongue hasn't been seen. So I don't if it was know. a totem, you might want to save 5 attack. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even kill the 3-1. Oh man, Reincarnate is going to have to... I'm surprised he didn't hit the 3-1, actually. I guess he expected his 3-4 to pick. So he's, that means he's 100% playing Deathwing here. And he knows the 3-1 is going to die. Yeah, yeah he must be playing Deathwing. Let's see what he draws. Hopefully he not doesn't want to discard car. something. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. You do have a 12 attack minion on the board. And yes, you lose weapons, but I think it's fine. There it goes. Bam. All right. So I want, I want him to draw reincarnate there and be like, look, guess what if you had Sylvanas? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he plays Stalag here uh, and that never finds reincarnate, then he's going to be in a position where he he can't get double Thaddeus. Okay. I kind of like Death Lord, right? I like I mean, Scarlet Crusader, actually. Because uh, Scarlet to... trades up with Yo. the... I have some balls. You don't want to give them another big minion. What do you have as an answer besides like that? He is coming out of the. Oh wow! Ooh. What an annoying little totem. Scare my totem. Oh, Sylvanas. That can take it, Thaddeus. All right. That can do some stuff. Uh, yeah, it does stuff. You like stuff. Yeah. So um, I haven't seen Wind Fury. I, I thought Admirable would wait, wait, play like a Wind Speaker in his deck, but he didn't. Okay, good. We haven't seen one yet. He was almost like, oh, I'm going to punch his stunk lock on for 12. <laughs> sure. Right. Zero, zero 12 go. total. Interesting game, huh? Yeah. Reincarnate is still not very tempting with the Sylvanas on the board. Okay. Sylvanas is scary. The heat is mounting up there because you really can't play anything into this board. Is, um, heat is on. Oh, uh, he didn't inspire before. He doesn't want to squire because he doesn't want to give his opponent a squire. The squire yeah. is too good. Mm -hmm. Definitely yeah. wants to give his opponent a squire. And now okay. he's gonna. <laughs> now he's gonna not play it. So it's oh not my goodness! That's, and that happens that all the time. Like... That happens all the time. You're like, you know what? I'm just gonna pretend that I planned out not to play the yeah, squire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like, gonna trade everything away. I'm purposely gonna. I'm gonna hold the squire back. Yeah. You know. Because that way I can go lowly squire into Thunderbolt Valiant and Hero Power to get like the double buff on totems and the squire. Oh. That's gonna bite. That 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 hurts a little <laughs> with bit. With seeing right? the eleven eleven on board. Yeah. So uh, the soft irony of this is that Admirable still doesn't really have any way to keep putting on pressure after this. It's mostly gonna be totems and squire to give to Savannas. And at some point, he's gonna run run out of answers. Well, now the squire's gonna come out. Oh Ooh, man! That's, 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 that's the really roadblocks. Good. Everywhere. Here comes the squire. All in. Perfectly planned. Perfectly planned. Yeah, I mean, we could have had the squire hitting him this turn. Yeah. But and one bigger. But no. But why? When you why could, would you do that? You could hold him back. Let him learn a little more. And then Anoyatron doesn't kill Savannah, and you never lose anything. Oh my god. This is sick. Sick play there by. What's, what's the top deck? Execute. No, it's Death Lord. Bringing out what? Oh my god. This, what? Wait. Smite. Be a, fuck, a bloodlust top deck coming up. It could. It might be. And then the squire does a ton of work. He wants bloodlust so bad. One of seven. Oh! There it is. So bloodlust does twelve by itself. And you hero power. You're buffing, buffing just, the, just the, totem the totem and, and the squire. Uh, so you get three damage from hero powering. And that means the squire can trade. Well, the totem is like a little shy. Dude, this is gonna be a bit of overkill, no matter what. Breast it. 
Yeah, it kind of sucks though. Like you really don't feel like pushing it right now. Press it. He's, he's figuring out if he can just kill him. Yeah. It's kind of awkward because like you don't die to the warrior next turn, right? Like so you could. Like, the question is, do you ever get a better bloodlust? I think you can wait one more turn. Like you see what the totem is first. Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh. It's hard not to smark, but. <sighs> oh man. See, I guess you could trade into the Sylvanas with a 3 6, and then you use the 3 3 and the 4 2 to trade into Thaddeus if it gets stolen. And otherwise, like, that's the perfect trade, because no matter what gets stolen, you have an answer. That's good. But you lose your, like, constant pressure game. So this is a yeah. bit annoying for Orange. His weapon's a 2, so this is the last kill he gets. And crush. Revenge. Um, not quite good. Close to be useful, but not quite there. And how much he's, damage have we got now? He's dead. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, Bloodless is 12, 12 and the Thaddeus is 23, and, the... and you have two more at least. Admirable first place again in the deck building portion of the event. Wow. Yeah. If only he could, uh. No. Valid Apprentice. I mean, we'll see how the trivia goes, right? So you and I, Rekful, will not be participating in it, right? No. We know all the answers. This next part is really fun. The yeah, it really round, is. And I wish I, we, Amaz tested it on us, yeah. and it was really fun, and we're pissed because we're not in it, and we're, we have nothing to, we're, we're nothing gonna, to do, man. We're not even going to be in the room. I'm just going to be like... I can't be there because I might just shout out the answer. We're just going to be Phil's badmaning over here. Yeah, and we're going to stay in here and doing nothing. Pretty much. So, uh, well, we can play checkers. Shout out to Twitch in case someone watches this on YouTube later. True. What uh, else are we supposed to do? Fnatic gear, guys. Yeah. Lots of stuff on Fnatic gear. They've got actually pretty good keyboards. 200 words per minute confirmed with Rekful right there. Uh, you can buy a Skamaj shirt and um, Jelly Belly Bean Boozled. Yes. We haven't seen much of this, but I think it's coming to action uh, in the next part. In the next round, we're going to see some bean boozlement, if I remember correctly. Amaz will tell us. So. All right. Taking a break. We're out. We're out.